Coach, congratulations first of all. And uh, tell us about this game. You you have one uh, one nail. How was the game? Difficult game, you know, because um, we sat we sat back um, very well. We were able to keep um, our defense compact and. Um, we rehearsed a whole lot of uh, counterplays, uh, which uh, one of them, you know, resulted to the goal. Fortunately, we could not convert the one or two others that came, you know. But most importantly, the three points is um, what we actually enjoy here today. Coach, it's a fight uh, which is very tough to get out of a relegation zone. Uh, how do you plan your next games? I live one day at a time. To me, this game is um, done and dusted, you know. The next game is on the second. And uh, we just have to go about, you know. If you go to my dressing room, the players are dancing, but I'm... Um, thinking ahead, you know, so I think um, the onus is on us to keep our heads, you know, we've been able to get um, three wins in our last four games, which is a plus, you know, and um, I hope that we'll continue like this, you know, my worry is that um, after the second, we'll have a, a little bit of break again before we play our next game, and when a team gets into a groove like that, it's better you continue, but then we'll have to keep our heads on our shoulders and we'll live one day at a time. The next team in front of us is Gorilla, let's go and see how it goes. Coach, you lost too many occasions in front of the goalkeeper. What can you say about your striker? Um, you know, um, life of a coach is like um, a driver. Eh? I can decide to take uh, people from here to Ngoma. When I get to Ngoma, it is their responsibility to go and open their houses and go in. You know, I can only help you as a team tactically. You know, I can't um, help you convert chances. You know, my responsibility is to take you to your destination through tactics. And your responsibility is to convert the, the, the chances that we've been able to create through tactics with your technique. And um, they say technique is something that the player develops all through your career. So, you know, there are things that can change. But unfortunately, most importantly that we want today, give the players belief, give the players good mentality going into our next game. Uh, compared to the fixtures you have, uh, next game is a Gorilla. Uh, do you think it was the last we in the first leg? I, I take one game at a time, you know. Um, as it is now, we've closed the points to one. And uh, like me, I said, we had um, 18 points to play for, now we have 15 to play for. And we'll go and play for another three points. And after the three points, we'll look at how it goes and look at uh, the difference between ourselves and the other team. But, you know, I am a believer, I have absolute faith. I have um, confidence in what I can produce. And I hope that the players also must have belief and faith in what we are doing, you know. If they don't have faith and believe in what we are doing, then everything is rubbish because as a coach, I can't get onto the field to play. It's the players that have to execute whatever it is that I want to, I have planned, you know, tactically, informations and everything. Uh, recently, uh... I have had wonderful relationship with the management of um, Etoile de Leste ever since I came in. You know, I have not had any cause to, you know, regret one bit. Like I said, I came here to exploit um, Rwandan football. And to me, it has been an, an exciting um, experience for me. You know, um, I don't know how long it's going to be, you know, because, like, you know, the, the job of um, a professional coach is here and there, you know. So we'll keep our heads high, we'll keep our belief and believe God that, you know, whatever happens. But most importantly, I think, uh, with the third less uh, management, I've had a wonderful working relationship. Coming to your players, which is a little kid in your team? Yes. Um, I, I was, I saw him play last week. He came to train with us from our feeder team. I have always believed in youth, mm. you know, and I believe that so long as football is uh, not a brawl, it is football, not football. Mm. So it hasn't got anything to do with, um, with your strength. It has everything to do with your intelligence on the ball, mm. you know, and off the ball too. So he has been able to show me, you know, I wanted to give him an opportunity today. I had, I have about, um, three, four of them in the team. And I want to give them an op opportunity as much as they possibly can. You know, if we have players in Europe playing at the age of 17, 18, why don't we have such players playing in Africa? Mm. Must they be 25, 26 to play? You know, like I said, he will have his chance, a wonderful player, you know, somebody, even my goalkeeper too. You know, when I came to the team, nobody wants to give me a chance. But I have absolute faith in youth. You know, if, like I said, if I'm here, if I'm in any other team or whatever, if I'm here, you're going to see a whole lot of youthful players play because energy is youth, eh? Mm -hmm. And in football, you need people that can actually run. Mm -hmm. And no matter your energy, no matter how old you are, if I can make you run, you will, at a point in time, you'll stop.